Hello everyone, Namaskar, how are you all? I hope you are fine enjoying your studies at the moment. So let's solve one more question from partial differential equation. And this question will solve with one of the standard form and not by using Chapit's method. Because you know the Chapit's method is for all nonlinear partial differential equation. But uh, sometimes it becomes lengthy to solve that by method. Uh, so sometimes we prefer to go by standard form only so that it becomes a bit lesser lengthy. So let's uh, start. So what will we do? Let's see which uh, form we get. What I am doing uh, as of my first step is dividing both sides by x q whole square. So I will get p q divided by x q whole square as my first term in RHS plus x y divided by x q whole square as my second term equals to x square plus y square. Now here as you can see q gets cancelled here x get cancelled and you are getting p by x the whole square plus y by q the whole square is equal to x square plus y square till now I haven't done anything I just multiplied by x q whole square both sides but anyhow I am getting a hint that I will have to go and simplify it more in order to get that form function of p x on one side and function of q y on the other side so I can do that I can see I can do that uh, because this is uh, p square by x square and if I take this x square to this side minus x square equals to y square minus y square divided by q square fine so let's take both of them equal to a if you want to solve by that method so the first step is get this type of uh, equation where function of p and x is there on the other side function of y and q is there equate both of them to another constant a okay now from first i will try to find the value of p in terms of uh, x from the second and try to find q in terms of y so p square minus x power 4 because I want to find P in terms of X so instead of doing this what as I can do P square by X square equals to A plus X square okay and further P square is a x square plus x power 4. So P square 
is equal to it's better we take x square a plus x square so p will be equal to x a plus x square under the root you got p entirely in terms of x now keep this aside so now same we will try to do for q so y square if i take common so 1 minus 1 by q square equals to a but this uh, way i will not be getting so try another uh y square q square minus y square equals to a q square taking q square terms one side so q square y square minus a square sorry y square minus a equals to y square so q square is y square divided by y square minus a if i want to solve find q plus minus will be there but i am taking only plus so y divided by under root of y square minus a so i got the value of q as well what's the next step in this type of question it is z equals to z equals to where did that vanish so it is z sorry dz equals to p dx plus q dy okay so dz equals to p is x under root a plus x square dx plus y divided by under root y square minus a dy integrate both sides now in the first integral i am going to take substitution as a plus x square as t square so 2x dx will become 2t dt 2 and 2 gets cancelled so x dx is t dt okay so this is the substitution for first integral for second integral y square y square minus a equals to u square so 2y dy equals to 2u du okay this is looking like james chocolate uh different colors so 2 is getting cancelled so y dy equals to u du
now using this integration of dz is simply z equals to now if you use this value x dx is t dt and under root t square is also t so integration of t square dt simply plus integration of y dy is u du okay and from denominator you are going under root u square which is u u u cancel so z equals to t cube by 3 plus u plus so z equals to what is t t is a square a plus x square power half that cube so a plus x square power 3 by 2 divided by 3 plus u is y square minus a power half plus a constant c. This is going to be your answer. So I hope you understood this again. Okay. Uh, it was simple only. No difficulty was there. Only thing you have to do is keep simplifying. Find a standard form. Whichever a standard form suits you, go for it. This question, which standard form we used? Function of x and p on one side equals to function of y and q on the other side. What we do in this type of question? We equate both the things to a. From there we find the value of p in terms of x, q in terms of y. Then we use dz is equal to p dx plus q dy. Integrate and get the answer. That's it. So I hope you understood it. Uh, for more similar questions on this uh, standard form, do watch my playlist on partial differential equation where I have diff discussed different varieties of uh, problem. That's it from my side. Thanks and have a nice day.